We were three sisters, the Malinato girls. That was how the village knew us. I remember my older sister, Lucia. She didn't like that at all. Makes us sound like a troop of dancing girls. <laughs> Come on, Anna! <laughs> I know, father. My other sister, Vittoria, she was father's favorite. So full of life and dreams. A bit like himself, I suppose, when he was young and married to the richest girl in town. But now, of course, the family fortune was just a memory. <laughs> After my mother died, Lucia took it upon herself to keep the memories of our glorious past alive. Maybe I was too young to understand the importance it had for her. And this? Mummy's grandfather. Mm. A very brave man. He fought Bonaparte at the Battle of... Lodi. The Battle of Lodi. The Great Battle of Lodi. Where this brave man fought so bravely that the king himself gave him a reward. A large patch of land in the hills. And when he died, they built a statue of him in the town square. This town square. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Leah. The pig ran in just as I was taking the picture. Take another picture. Thirty lira, signore. There's a pig in the picture. There are two pigs. <laughs> Thank you, Guido. Thank you, Signor Dontini. And when is Giorgio marrying your lovely daughter? We're not sure. Perhaps next time I come, you want something in a smaller size, God willing. <laughs> Thirty letters, signorina. Thank you. My dearest friends, I begin with sadness. The father of Italy is dead. On the second day of June, 1882, on the island of Caprera, Garibaldi passed from this world. But never will he pass from the heart of every Italian. I don't think she's so pretty. Well, Giorgio seems to think so. Then why doesn't he marry her? Seems little Giorgio's asking for a half share in the shop before he'll marry Leah. Will he get her? <laughs> Not unless Dondini goes mad. Seems a fair enough price for the best catch in town. You're a silly girl. Why? Best catch in town? Son of a midwife? Well, some people don't think that way would be a disgrace. Victoria! 
It's all right. I'll go. Ow! I'm sorry. I agree with you. I don't think it would be a disgrace. You agree, Anna. You never speak up. You're going to have to be stronger. I know. 20 years now this family has been pressing down on me. Is something wrong? No. Victoria, I saw you in Giorgio. We're running away. Running away? Tonight, Anna. Midnight. He'll come to my window. Like Romeo and Juliet. Right all through the night, all through tomorrow. You won't tell, will you? This must have been her great-grandfather saw it. Just the night stretching far away. Are you cold? No, I'm fine. All right. Anna, you're burning. I'm fine. What's wrong? Nothing. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Is it Victoria? No. Is it a secret? <gasps> Georgia. told her anything, but she knew. I didn't dare. I couldn't go to Vittoria where she waited for midnight and her Giorgio. Instead, I followed Lucia to the Dondini house. Everything she believed in was challenged, and whatever it cost, she would save the family honor. When Leah appeared, the future was already planned. You want to marry Giorgio? Giorgio was summoned to the house. He came at once. Can you put me out? Please. Giorgio, please. They put to him their offer, 25% in the shop. 25% is it? That's it. Mr. Dondini? <laughs> By then, it was well past midnight. I tried to help her, I swear. But she was already lost, swallowed up into our glorious past.